we're not dead not dash away and no for no for one of this thing when i try to put h for music i gotta say producer too old or artist too old when since age is a problem in the music and what i'm doing no man when since we're bad with experience and we got the knowledge we have everything we wanna have all in the walk with is a laptop on our arm. <laughs> I said with our producer. The man have a laptop on the arm. Then I tell you have a blood clad studio. I record them in the bathroom. When I record them in the bathroom, I have a laptop on our arm. I said with our producer, on a worthless. Yeah. Yeah. So we take a break, right? And we're back. What would you say? The Gargamel say. Tell them for run them a rat and them gonna run it. We have, eh? Yeah, man. Yeah. Tell them for run them a rat and them gonna run it. So, yeah, man, back in the, back in the, back in the music, you know? Back in the, but you are. I love what the worthless producer them start run out and start make back with dance. I, I like that. I like the little worthless producer them back. And I make real dancer. Cause you what? A 16 years. A 16 years the worthless producer them. Turn them back pan. Authentic dance and reggae music. And start produce chop fuckery. And I try to trick the world that chop the trap music from Jamaica, which is which is hip hop. A reggae and dancer. Over 16 years, you know? Or 10 years. You can go research it. Or how many years? These good for nothing worthless producer who will get the place to run. Instead of them run it, them kill it. Because what them do? The worthless producer them start producing hip hop music. And I call it dancer you know, I just job very cool for them right just job me, me just job the cool for them me have every international media I interview me billboard Hollywood unlock all of them reach out to me you know she do because, not for the artists in Jamaica, them, not for the artists in my sipping shade room, you know, them pay feet. Like me, shade room, I interview me for free. I'm going to tell shade room, I'm not ready. So, not to the Jamaica artists in my shade room, them pay for that. Why not pay for that? Because we're a big producer. Shade room, I interview you. Because what? We produce real authentic dancer. Billboard. I'm the billboard producer, you know, I'm telling them that I'm the billboard producer. I'm a reggae dancer. I'm a bad no fuck. My brother done the whole of the producer them. The worthless producer them down in Jamaica. My brother done the whole of them. See there? Better than them. Me came out of America because my brother done the whole of them. Because them worthless. My brother done the whole of them worthless producer here where I produce trap music. My brother done the whole of them. Then I produce reggae. I just have a rhythm of Jamaica and I wake up your whole Jamaica and then vex. Salute. To Stigley and Cleavy, legend. Salute to Tony Kelly. Salute to King Jamins. Salute to Bobby Digital. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah, man. Salute Black Scorpio. Salute John Jella. Yeah, man. Salute Sly and Rabbi. 
blessed and give thanks for Dave Kelly and many others. You see, after that, yeah, the baddest. Everything else is a fuckery. Yeah, the baddest thing. And sorry if you speak like that because you are. They're worthless. The producer them today are worthless. Them are the producer. Them are beat maker. And what them do? Them produce be a trap fuckery. And I try to trick the people them say, so yeah, the people them now buy into it. None of them artists here. Yeah. What up on a trap beat? Are crossing over. None of them. Yeah, they might eat a little food. I mean, I bl me not blame the artist them. I'm not blaming the artist them. Me I blame the beat maker them. The boy them I play hip hop, R and B, and I mislead the youth them. I'm ready for challenge, you know, man. Me, Kemar okay, McGregor, ready for challenge, you know. Let's make authentic dancehall and authentic reggae. You know, ready? My bad, my bad, I don't know what I want. None of them can challenge me. None of them. Five billboard, five hundred billboard clock on my walls. You know what? Blood clad challenge me. Pardon my French, I'm just upset because to see these people, or these little, little kids, don't show respect to the, elder, the elders before us, make me upset. I don't want to follow the blueprint. What you all want to do is to just kill reggae and dance all. Throw it, throw it by the side and create fucking stupid act like, trap music. Water down hip hop. But I want to make a Jamaican water down hip hop. Baddest producer on a worthless, as the Gargamel say. Tell them to run the marathon, them come to run it. Man, they run reggae to wreck. I'm going to get the place to run, I wouldn't run it. No, 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 hit song. All I want to chop producers. I don't have no hit song. Nobody knows what's so, no, no, bad. I don't have no hit song. I don't have no legacy. Baddest thing since the legend, I'm going to call them name already. Everything else after that, a fuckery. Me say that. Better than all of them. What you say? Bad. We're not dead, not dash away. And no for, no for one of this thing, we're not trying to put H for music. I go say, producer too old or artist too old. When since age is a problem in the music? I want to know, man. When since? We're bad with experience. And we got the knowledge. We have everything. Wanna have? All in the walk with is a laptop on our arm. I say what I produce. Man, have a laptop on the arm. Then not even have a blood clot studio. I record in the bathroom. When I record in the bathroom, I have a laptop on our arm. I say what I produce. I'm worthless. Stop produce the trap bullshit and tricking people that it's dance art. I don't know how to produce the dance art, man. Hip hop -hop music, when I make water down hip hop. When you tell me, tell me who's trying to buy that, man. I'm trying to have money like me, none of them. Got enough of them people money them I spend. Bad, baddest producer in a reggae and dance. If a producer born a like that come challenge me now, I'm in my body you now. Bad in the music. Yeah, man, not a worthless man. Me take a break for what? Me take a break from 20, 2011 because of. I don't know, I'm not even going to call them names because they're on a musical thing right now, so I don't want to call them names. But take a break to certain people because I don't want to call them names. I, I bash them too much. Take a break since 2011. I'm going to, the, I'm going to the place to run. We're going to the place to run, you know? We're going to the place to run. For Uno, Fi, add on top of what we 
are doing. I want to do when to fuck it up. When you come boy, I can produce. When a bag of song, them boy, cocky in the ears and cocky in the high and cocky in the this. Yo, brother, that is not dancer. We not say it's another dancer. You go listen to some budget band and some shabarangs. And listen to the band them say. Yeah, man, listen to them do it, man. Love put on the bad. No, I, <laughs> I say it, man. Love, love put on the bad. You hear budget them say it. You want the way you look good. Make me have a ball out. You look like you want a gold spoon in your mouth. So we do dance all. I say, I you come say, Pussy, we love. How we not change. That's dance all. That is the answer. You understand me? So, again, I not be the artist. Me, no. I'm not beating them. I beat the worthless producer them who produce hip hop. Especially the worthless uptown one them. The worthless uptown producer them who grew up in hip hop and R&B and them attack. They're worthless. <laughs> the worthless. The worthless. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, now I'm told. A time for the real producer them for get back into the game and start making some music. Lenky, on the tag Lenky. Lenky them for come back and I think Lenky them a bad producer. Yeah. Jeremy Hardy them a bad producer. Them for come back. The real producer them for come back into the game. Yeah, man. The real producer didn't come back. I have some good producer. Before my time, we're, we're bad too. So I'm not forgetting them respect. Lenky them, Lenky them a bad producer. Jeremy Hardy them, bad producer. Yeah, man. So the real producer them, don't make them trick, you know, and tell them to say you're too old and in a phone time at the youth them time. Yo, we give the youth them the place to run. We give the youths them the marathon for run. And what they have done, they have true fling. In a Jamaica, they say fling away. Them fling away dance all the reggae music. And when them come with them, them come with a trap thing. Them come into those water down hip hop and RB to Jamaica. And to the world, and I call it dance uh, and reggae. And I say, Oh, are the youth them time now? Don't follow Shaggy. Guess what? Mark it. I bet you Shaggy gonna drop a dance uh, rhythm soon. I bet you Shaggy is going to do a dance uh, collab soon. Don't follow Shaggy. Shaggy know him, I do. Shaggy met that statement because Shaggy want to be relevant. No. Now Mr. Shaggy never get a hit song and dance out yet. Right? I mean, nah, I'm mean, not nah, dissing. But I would love to see Shaggy make an apology for that statement there, because trap music, dead. And number one, it, it was never alive. No artist not eating a trap. Name your artist for it. Our trap music, they run for what, 16 years now? Our? I don't even know. Or maybe 10 years. No artist not eating a trap. No producer not eat one at all, but what one I call it? The one them from Kingston to Negril Point to Fort Lauderdale and Miami and Atlanta and New York, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Philadelphia. That one I call it. On <laughs> the stupid. If I that one I call it, on the stupid. Yeah, man. I'm back. I want to better back the fuck up. All of them trap producer, I'm back. Back the fuck up. Cause guess what? We have to defend this dance and reggae music. I hate me, me live big, you know. Dance and reggae. I hate me, we got up to one month, we got spend over a million dollars, you know. And enjoy ourselves for the people, you know. Dance and reggae do that. Dance and reggae, you know, we make clean, say. You know? <laughs> so we got to fight for it, bro. I got a fire for dance uh, and reggae. Make we clean, man. Dance and reggae, make we make fly a private jet, bro. Dance and 
and tell her again, we could clean. So we have a five feet. We have to ensure that dancehall and reggae music live on for the next generation to come. Because here, dancehall and reggae music take a lot of us out of poverty. Dancehall and reggae music send me up to where all the big boys live in the hills. Dance and reggae music. Let me fly on a private jet. Dance and reggae music elevate. No for we. Dance and reggae music make we can say we kids them go to the best school, the best university. That's what dance and reggae have done for us. You understand me? So, how can we turn our back and dance and reggae music for hip hop? Remember, you know, hip hop music come from dance and so why would we want to copy? So, my phone ring off now. I take on myself. I'm back, the baddest producer in a dance hall and reggae. And guess what? I'm not safe. Because I'm not look clout. I'm not look high. I'm going to look for my wall. 500 billboard plaque. Which one of them can show that? None. Some of them are not I'm just upset. Come here, different dance hall already. Now watch it. The whole of them are run out now. And I say, ready my job, ready my job. Yo, I'm going to drop, ready my job. The whole of them, where were you? Where were all of you? You never know, so ready me in a dance hall. Where were all of you? All of a sudden, ready my job. Ready my job. Some of them say, oh, they're bigger than the dance hall. They're not singing them work, they're too big. No, but they say, yo, we done with dance hall. We don't need to do dance hall anymore. We're bigger than dance hall. <laughs> I'm yet to see the person bigger than dance hall. I'm yet to see the person that's bigger than reggae. I'm yet. You see it? The stone. The stone. No. The sound that the artist them refuse in their career now becomes. The Ed Cornerstone car, everybody run back now. Everybody run back now. Let me tell you something. As an international producer, when in America, and he's a reggae producer, a reggae, a dancer, artist, American, I want you to sing R&B. <laughs> American, they don't want you to sing R&B. They want you to be yourself and sing your music. They want you to sing dancer, because that's what they want, dancer. Reggae, they want. Where the fuck you for? Where the fuck you for come from Jamaica? And then you're talking about how oh, I'm gonna start seeing horn be my fuck deal, bitch. You stupid. Nah, bro, are you stupid? Can't do that, bro. Or oh, you can't do that, miss. Dance all forever. That's our culture. Reggae, for, reggae forever. Please pardon my French, right? I'm just upset. Because how these people be, are treating reggae and dancer. Right? So, again, take off of all my friends behind me. We've been filming all day. Then we're taking a break, having some food. Yo, I'll tell you something. What the producer them then? The chap producer them then? All I want to put on the ears for my phone, my knocky phone. All I want to try to produce, I'm telling you something. I have 500 dance hall and reggae rhythm for job. Put on the ears of the phone and listen to this. <laughs> 500 rhythm for drop. 500 authentic reggae and dance hall. So on the laptop, on the car, on the arm, I want to buy you. On the vice and I can't wall up. <laughs> Yo, so I'm funny though, so. I take up myself, cars. I'm <laughs> a bad producer. And through my bad, I me me couldn't know that I'm a bad. I'm a bad producer, man. That's bad. Man, I'm a eat beer food when the Range Rover. Oh, God.
It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. Yeah, yeah man. Top class party. Top class party. Skidangu. Boom. Yeah man. Real. Top class. Yeah, you want me to know you know you know them charts. You wear your jiggle, put me in the one chart. You see the man. Let's not tell the people about the trap. The trap producer them worthless. Mm. Trap producer them worthless man. Yeah man. We, we get them a place to run and then couldn't run it. When we give it to them, you know, we give them dance and reggae. And guess what now? The man them I produce hip hop and R and B and I trick the people and say, yo, me just have a dance all song. Oh. Fucking stupid. Bring back the authentic dance. Yeah man, let me know what I'm about. Bad way back. Yeah man, we are bad people, but bad in music. We don't do we don't we don't do the violent stuff now. Bad in our music. Bad. I know the blagger that I run with this, you know, but here we are. Here we are, blagger. when you run that one, yeah? make sure the headline say, Kemar McGregor say, All trap producers are worthless. Kemar McGregor is saying, All trap producers are misleading the people and producing hip hop music and calling it dance art. Blaggers, next one. Tell them, say, Kemar McGregor say, I'm back. And all of them worthless. They're worthless. All of a sudden, everybody will pan. Read him a job. Read him a job. Read him a job. Well, now I got to read him a 500 me of release. When you can't play catch up. <laughs> we are back. Anyway, I take care of myself now. But I have to do that video. You know why I do that video? Take I'm in Jamaica and I see some little boy to go out and walk on style, the Billboard King producer. Yeah, man. No little boy in Jamaica who just come to music, can't style the Billboard King producer. You know what I'm saying? No little boy can't style what? the Billboard King producer. When you have 500 Billboard plaques on your wall, you can chat to me. You know, have that. No boy in a jump. No boy in a dance style of record. The trap boy, they may talk, you know. Them trap boy with them trap beat. Them. Let me tell you something. 500. No fun, not even one. And the fun of the one they want to have a 50 copy on the cell. <laughs> <laughs> We're bad. I want to you know. When in a bus yet, man. Anyway, big up on yourself. Because sometimes, you know, what for us, what for me, you know, say we're bad and we're bad in our music. Yeah, man, we're bad in our music, you know. Yeah, man, I want to know, man. Only send a trap boy by you. Send a trap, send one of the trap boys and come over here. Send one of them. No, no, we're not doing them something. Mm -mm. No. Because you know, when I do violence, you know, music we do, bad in our music. Yeah, man, so send them, come, we go in the studio with them and we teach them. Ready, you know, teacher. So here we know. So a time now, food has taught me back some art into dance or reggae music. That would happen, right? So, when you ready? Time to make art, art authentic dance or reggae music. Take on myself now. Night I come down. As my friend Bones and Ira Femme in love said, Rich! Bones, no. Hey. Anyway, yo. Big up all of the disc jacket them in Jamaica. Big them up. Big up all of the disc jacket them in IRFM. Big up all of the disc jacket them in IRFM. Big up all of the just big up all of the disc jacket them in IRFM. Yeah man. Big up DJ Bones, all of them. Amber, <laughs> the Queen. We are talking about man. Big up all of them man. Smurf, everybody. Big A. I had to have boat, man. All of them. Sunshine. Jesus Christ. I love sunshine. My sunshine come from fire, you know. I love sunshine, man. Yeah, man. DJ, the long time she has support me, you know. IRFM had to support me. IRFM bust me, you know. IRFM bust me. Ran Mush at them. Ellie Skelly. Big A. Mighty Might. Yo. 
Rest in peace, bro. We had to have a man. DJ Whistle All heap of strength. Yeah, man. We had to have a man. All heap of strength. Digital Christian. You don't know. And, you know, you have some, you have some young DJ with us trying the team of IRFM. I have to big them up to. So, salute. Liquid, big up your damn self. Chrome, roll well zip. Roll out. Cali 9's Fame FM, loud. Yeah, man, it's. Because you're going to work for us. Show respect to everybody, because guess what? They know me a bad producer. And they know me so, the billboard king. 500. Billboard plaque on wall hanging. Yeah, man, so I'm going to salute all of the people who contributed to my career over the years. Yeah, man, so we have to show gratitude. Don't give people them flowers when they're dead. Cry you are. See me? It's if only don't want to give me my flowers. I just go into my pocket and take out a big kyle and just go into the store and just buy all the flowers. I have to love yourself before people love you. So I buy my flowers. Eh? So uno. No more me not if you invent the phone on my funeral. <laughs> so me make sure I go buy my rose there. No for one, I don't want to give me no rose. Cause I don't want to give people them rose when they're dead. So that's why I'm big up everybody right now where I give me my rose now. Love you all. Peace. Have a good night.